All right, thank you so much, Brooke. It is 6.45 a.m. Uh, we have some of the headlines that are happening now across the nation. President Biden is expected to travel to North Carolina today after four police officers were shot and killed while serving a warrant in Charlotte. It's the deadliest attack on law enforcement in the U.S. since 2016. The president is expected to meet with the families of the fallen officers and also talk to officials there in that community. President Biden will also visit Will William, William Wilmington uh, to discuss his economic agenda. And former President Donald Trump is back on the campaign trail. The presumptive GOP nominee rallied in Wisconsin and Michigan. He's criticizing the Biden administration and the pro-Palestinian protests on college campuses. Trump is calling for tougher action against the demonstrations and suggests some protesters are paid actors and some are not from this country. Meantime, today, the hush money trial in New York will have the former president uh, facing the prospect of additional sanctions in another contempt hearing for that gag order, and then it will be followed by more testimony in the actual uh, hush money case. Now, in other headlines, in Arizona, senators there signed off on a bill to repeal an abortion ban dating back to the 19th century. Two Republican senators sided with Democrats to repeal a law dating back to 1864 that would only allow abortion in circumstances that would save a woman's life. The law had been blocked since Roe versus Wade guaranteed the constitutional Senator right Gallen. to an abortion nationwide. But then recently, when the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade, the then Arizona Attorney General persuaded a judge to reinstate that 1864 ban and enforce it again. All right, in Portland, Oregon, a Starbucks window is damaged in protests there. And at Columbia University in New York, officers arrested at least 100 people when they cleared out Hamilton Hall. Portland's demonstrations, we're told, are for workers' rights, but the rest that we're reporting on are about the Israel-Hamas war. So in New York there, demonstrators had seized the administration building at Columbia more than 20 hours earlier to protest against the Israel-Hamas war. Tactical team Teams held back other protesters and tried to stop further arrests. Officers in helmets cleared protesters who would not leave. And all morning long, we're continuing to update you on what's going on at UCLA with uh, live images. And we'll bring some more to you in just a bit.